right, today we are going to be doing a little bit of painting, but before we get to that, I wanted to talk a little bit about our inspired blue animal project that we're going to be talking about. So the artist I'm going to, that is inspired our project today, his name is Jeff Coons, and he has some famous pieces of artwork that are in the shape of a balloon animal, we've got a snake and a bunny, and then the dog, which is what we're inspired by today. And then he's got a sculpture that's just a big pile of Play-Doh looking stuff. So he is what we call a neo-pop artist. Um, he was born in 1955, so he is still alive today and still creating sculptures that are um, in museums today and sell um, for over millions of dollars. He's actually got a world record for um, how much money one of his sculptures was sold for. So today we are going to be using paint. We are going to be using um, scissors and glue. You're going to need some different colored paper. Um, if you do not have paint, that is okay. You can use um, markers or um, you're going to need a white crayon or a white oil pastel if you have if you don't have white paint, you're going to need a white crayon or a white oil pastel or a white colored pencil. Um, something that's going to be able to create um, white on your paper and for it to actually show up. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Jeff Koons um, and his inspiration for our art project today. So the first thing you're going to need also is I sent a email with this template so this is the shape of the ovals for our balloon animal. And so you're gonna have to cut, you don't have to cut all five out. You can cut one out and you trace seven of those ovals. So I'm gonna do it on my blue paper. Um, I am doing a blue balloon animal dog. Um, if you don't have blue, that is okay. Um, you can do really any color but white. Um, you're not going to want white. Um, so right now I'm just tracing my ovals. You're going to want seven ovals. I got four. So when you get these traced, you're going to want to take a black marker um, or a black oil pastel or I have a tempera paint stick that I'm going to be using. Um, you're just going to go over that black, go over that pencil with that black. Um, and like I said, it can be, um, it can be an oil pastel. It can be a Sharpie, it can be a black marker, it can be a black crayon. Um, just want to make sure you outline those ovals, okay? Just like this. So you have seven ovals. I'm going to put that to the side real quick. Um, you're going to want to take your, this is going to be your background paper. Um, it called for yellow or green. Um, it really can be any color you want. So what you're going to do on this paper is you're going to take that black marker again or black crayon, black color pencil, whatever, and you're going to kind of try to make like a background scene. So I'm just going to draw some buildings in my background. Some skyscrapers. I'm going to put some windows in there. So this is going to just be your background and what you will eventually be gluing your hot, your hot air, your <laughs> balloon animal. It's not a hot air balloon. Um, so I just did um, some buildings in the background. So this is going to be your kind of background to your dog. And then you're going to want to take, um, I did not choose green because if I chose green, it would disappear. So 
Um, you can choose green. I have purple. You can do whatever color you want. Um, you're going to rip um, the layers off of this paper. And what you're going to want to do is rip little... Um, you're going to want to make it look just textured. So rip little pieces out. And I will show you what it looks like. So you're going to want to just rip some pieces out just like that. And then, get that out of the way. You're going to want to um, just put some lines on there again with your black. Just give it some texture. Um, so it can look like grass or it can look like a bush or look like flowers possibly in front of that building. Um, so this is kind of your in front of your buildings. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to glue this on to my backdrop. And if you want to color the sky and clouds, you can do that too. Um, you can have some birds flying around. Um, remember, this is yours. You can make it you know, however you see that space. Um, all right, so I'm going to glue this on to the bottom. You don't have to glue it completely to the bottom because remember, you're going to have room for your balloon, animal, dog. Um, I lost my glue cap. Hold on one second. Oh, there it is. All right. You always want to make sure you put your glue cap back on because otherwise it will dry out. All right, so now comes the fun part where you get to create your balloon animal dog. So you're going to need some scissors. So you're going to cut out your ovals. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can cut um, inside that black line because the black line should be pretty thick. I know mine's pretty thick. So you're going to want to cut those out. I'm cutting them out before I paint just because then I don't have to wait for the paint to dry as much. I'm going to cut out my ovals. And again, if you do not have paint, don't worry. You're just going to want to use a darker color than your paper. And you're going to want that white crayon or that white oil pastel or white paint or white color pencil. You're just going to want something that's going to show up on your colored paper. So um, you're going to want to make sure you have colored Paper. Otherwise, if you have white paper, a white crayon or white paint is not going to show up. All right, so we're cutting out our seven ovals. This is how we will build our um, balloon animal with our seven circles. We're going to cut those out, and then we'll put some paint on them. You guys have some paint at home, so you can experiment a little bit with that. But if you don't, no biggie. Crayon, marker, or color pencil will work just as well. Um, all right, so I've got my seven ovals cut out. Get your scraps thrown away. And I've got, so because my paper is blue, I did a dark blue. I've got a light blue paint and white. Okay, so I'm going to start with that dark blue. Um, I've got water and I've got paper towel for when you know, you're going to wash off your brush. So I'm going to take a little bit of that blue and I'm just going to go on one side and paint a line dark blue. So I just do one side. I don't do the whole thing. I just do one line on one side, and I'm going to do that on all my ovals. So, again, just one side, one line of paint. And you're going to do that with all the ovals, and you're going to do that with the dark color, the lighter color, and your white. just makes it 
have that kind of 3D look that we kind of talked about last week. Gives it kind of like a shadow, a little bit more depth to it. All right, got one more. And then I'm going to wash off my uh, brush, let that dry a little bit, wash off my brush, make sure it's all nice and washed off and clean. And then I will go to my next color. So I use that dark color on all of them. Now I'm going to go to this light color, show some shading here a little bit. And again, you're just going to take that lighter color and just go right next to the dark color. It's hard to see because it's so light, but just go right next to it and just do one more line. Again, you're not painting the whole thing, just painting one line next to the blue line. And next, after we get our light blue, we will do, you guessed it, we will do white. So it just gives it that shaded look, that 3D look, gives it a little bit of depth. All right, almost done. Just got one more with the light blue. And you're going to see how the white is really going to make these pop. So it's really cool. So if you do not have paint, remember, just choose a dark color and a light color and then a white. Okay, so all mine have the dark blue and the light blue. And I'm gonna wash off my paintbrush again, close up my paint, dry off my paintbrush, and then I'm gonna get my white. All right, and then you're gonna see, I just put that white line right next to the light blue. So again, not coloring the whole thing, just a little bit of color. So we've got four more. And then we will start building our balloon animal onto our background that is all ready to go. One more. All right, so wash off my paintbrush again, close up my paint. So all of them look like this. They've got the dark, the light, and the white. So now comes the building of our um, balloon animal. So this is the one that I did for my time lapse video. I did this a little earlier. So the body. I know they're all about the same size, but if you have one that maybe is a little bit longer, a little bit bigger, you may want to use that for the body. Okay, and that's just going to go straight across. Um, you're going to do one for the legs, one leg, and a back leg. You need a tail, so one for the tail. And this is where it gets a little bit trickier because you're going to need one for the head and then the ears. And as you can see, my paper wasn't quite big enough, so it's kind of going off the paper a little bit, which is fine. Um, it's supposed to be uh, abstract. All right, so once you get it on placed on your paper, you're gonna take your glue, and I'm just gonna start with the bottom one. And you may need to wait a little bit for your paint to dry. Um, just make sure um, you're not getting paint on anything. Unless you have, like when we painted our house, we have a tablecloth or a towel set down so it can get all messy and paint can get on it. All right, so I'm getting the legs glued on, get the body glued on. And we're building our balloon animal.
tail on. And after we get everything glued on, we'll have just a few finishing touches to make it really look like the balloon animal because it needs where obviously the balloon got tied where the air got put in. We'll draw that on there. I'm getting his head glued on and then we'll get the ears. That makes it look a little bit like a bunny, but it's a dog. Wonder if there's anybody out there who has actually done a balloon animal with balloons. I've never been able to make one. Try with the circus trick. Uh oh, looks like my glue is getting to the bottom of it. Okay, so there is the balloon animal. I'm just going to add a few little finishing touches with my blue. You could do a blue marker. Okay, I'm just going to add. Um, a little end here that makes it look like the end of the balloon. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a tail. All right. So this is your finished product for your balloon animal dog. So I hope you guys um, enjoy doing that. I hope you get to work a little bit with some paint. If not, remember, you can always use different materials. If you have any questions, just let me know and I will see you guys Tuesday.